game six, five. All right, I mixed up. We currently lead three games to one as Singun is going to lose the tip off. Game five in Houston. We're looking to close it out at home against Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks. As Tim Hardaway Jr. is already open for three to start off the game, but he luckily misses that shot. And I'm going, I'm bulldozing right towards the paint. First points go to the Rockets. Mavericks currently off to a slow start so far. Currently have a six point lead as Luka is, would almost nearly got past me. He has been a nightmare as he is going to take that three and miss it completely. I'm down court. Nice bounce pass. Why would I take a jump shot, 2K? What? Oh, my God, man. I I get back from playing Madden, and this is what I have to deal with, dude. This is so annoying, man. A jump shot? That's literally a highlight play waiting to happen, and 2K ruins it. And I was perfect from the field before that. Like, why? Why would you ever have me take a jump shot there? Doesn't make any sense. Jabari Smith Jr., easy layup, and one. Luka gets the foul. Yeah, the Mavericks have not been able to do anything. Especially defense as Luka gets lost there. They need a timeout as we take a 13-point lead. They have only scored two points at since, like, uh, I think two minutes. They had a drought since the beginning of the game, and that drought is continuing. I'm assuming I'm going to get benched here. Maybe, maybe not. I have 10 points currently. And no, they're going to keep me in the game. But the Mavericks bench is going to come in, and so is ours. I currently have a 14-point lead. I have yet to be subbed out. And the Mavs bench, they, they've done good. They've scored 7 points so far, which is more than the starter scored. So that's a positive. But they're still down by 14 in a must-win game for them as we are up 3-1. Spencer Dinwiddie has been amazing this series. Cooking. Kevin Porter Jr. right now, but takes a contested shot and will miss KJ Martin with the board. And I'm actually playing the shooting guard position right now, so I've been playing a little bit off ball, and it's clearly been working. As you can see, we are currently winning, as KJ Martin is going to go to the line. And now I'm getting subbed out, up by 14. Let's see if our bench can continue as we bring in Jalen Green, so that should help. Yeah, we're up by 16. Barry Smith Jr. comes sent me the screen. I was going to take the shot. I don't know what I'm doing, but Jabari Smith Jr. is going to somehow turn that into a scoring play, and he's got 11 points on 5 for 6 shooting. 14 points in the paint. For a point guard, by the way, the only other person doing that is like John Morant or Russell Westbrook. So that is something. I literally cannot be stopped in the paint, mainly because that's the only method I can score. I'm not shooting three, so I can tell you that much. Unless I'm wide open, I really should not be taking a three because it's you know, 2K, as I just cooked Luka there. But, of course, the way we run this offense, everyone's sitting on the perimeter. So, I can't really do much, you know, dribble-wise on the perimeter. Because I have no room. I'm just going to dribble into a defender and lose the ball. That's exactly what's going to happen. Sengun, easy pick and roll for the layup. We have a 19-point lead. One thing I wish is, I wish Sengun actually dunked. This man is 7 feet, and he doesn't even dunk. And the Mavericks are slowly inching their way back into this game as we're only up by 16 now. They just knocked down a three. And I'm going to knock. Nope, never mind. Nope, got the release completely off. The one three I take was wide open, and I'm the one who messed it up. That's like, I literally cannot blame that on 2K. That was just an awful, awful release on my end. As Josh Green with Josh Christopher on him, the Joshes are uniting. As Davis Bertans. Doesn't matter. Finney Smith gets the offensive rebound and the and one. Just like that, it's a 13-point game. It was once a 21-point game. The slowly evaporating in front of our eyes is that 21-point lead as the Mavericks are climbing back into this one. But Jabari Smith Jr., my favorite pick-and-roll partner, throws it down, brings it back to 15. 3.45 left in this first half. Do... The Mavericks have life. They're showing it a little bit here with the three-point shot. And, you know, drawing these fouls as Luka is going to take a risky three, trying to draw the foul. I'm going straight to the paint, and I'm bringing it back to 17 just like that. 22 points, 64% shooting from the field as we extend this lead. 
like we've been doing all night as Josh Green was over for a split second. Defender gets there in time. Dory Finney-Smith's open, but Jabari Smith is clamping up Josh Green right now. What defense by the big man. I'm going out to the corner. Ooh, near turnover. Nope, I'm not. I was open for a second. Then Luka Doncic turned into the human flash and got there in time. I'm taking that. That's a green 2K. Thank you. I knocked down a three. Oh, Luka. He had an open three there, but he decides not to take it. He's going to take the floater instead, and that's good. Brings our lead back down to 18. He is ice cold. Damn, nine points, four for 12. I've been playing good defense. All right, I'll take it. Luka Doncic picks up his fourth foul of the game in just the first half. They got to put him on the bench, right? That seems like the only smart thing, and they do. Four fouls for the MVP type player. I did. Actually, he might win MVP. No, he's not because we're the one seed. Four fouls for the MVP caliber player in Luka Doncic. He has to go to the bench while his team looks at a 20-point deficit and a possible second-round exit. For the second year in a row, I believe it is. Second year in a row. Whatever. I know they made it to the conference final. No, did they? Did the Mavericks make it to the conference finals or am I tripping? I could have sworn they made it one year. But I might be going wild. Could be could be going crazy. But they look staring at another second round exit in the Luka Doncic error. And it's not looking good for them. 14 seconds left in the second quarter. The second quarter has feel, felt like it's been going on forever, to be honest with you. But we're currently up by 20. Five seconds left. Let's see if we can make it 21. Yes, sir, we are. With two seconds left, 22. I said 21. 22-point lead for the Houston Rockets going into the half as Dinwiddie takes the half-court heaver. They only scored 39 points in one half with Luka Doncic on the team. Start of the third quarter, and as you could expect, Luka Doncic starts the third quarter off the bench due to, oh wow, that's a bad turnover, due to his four fouls as Hardaway running the break. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that was not much that was going to be done. You either give up the three or give up the two, and I'd rather give up the two to Dwight Powell there. But yeah, Luka Doncic with his four fouls starting off the game off the bench. So we might as well try and take advantage as Sengun pull up for the mid-range shot, and he knocks it down. And with a 26-point game, they bring in Luka Doncic with this four fouls. And my goal right now is to drive it to the paint and try and foul him out. He fouls out of the game, we win. Even though we're up by 26, there's always a chance with Luka Doncic on the court that they can come. Why are we calling a timeout? There's always a chance that they can come back, especially when I get sent to the bench like I possibly am. Nope, they're going to keep me in the game with half stamina. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's always a chance. Always a chance. I am the guy that blew a 3-1 lead in 2K19 before. Wow, what was that animation? Okay, then 2K. Uh, only six missed shots on the night, though. So that's something. Yeah, and see, see what I'm talking about? When Luke is in the game, anything's possible. Anything is possible. But also Jabari Smith being open as he knocks down his second three of the game for his 19th point. Or 21st point, I'm sorry. He has been the great... He's the number two option. I did not expect that. I expected Jalen Green to be my number two. But Jabari Smith has been insane, man. He has clearly been my favorite teammate. He is just insanely good. I'm finally getting a rest as I had no stamina. Jabari Smith Jr. is going to stay in the game, though. So that's good. And, yeah, we are up by 24 points going into the fourth quarter. Safe to say this game is over. And Luka picks up his fifth foul. He's one more. Even though the game's over. He's one more away from fouling out of the game. They're going to keep him in because, I mean, what? At this point, just so you guys, three minutes left. You're down by 20, um, three points. That's not happening. It, it's not happening. Just take him out. I would take take stars out. There's no way they come back. It's, it's not impossible, but very, very close to impossible. They need, to start, they need Steph Curry right now to start hitting these threes because they ain't going to happen. Luka Doncic. Also, you're going to need to score quick and not use the entire shot clock as Dwight Powell in the paint. Gets to end one. All right, those are possible three points. 50 seconds left away from heading to the Western Conference Finals. The first time since, I believe, 2018, where it was the Houston Rockets with James Harden and Chris Paul. Now, we got Gerald Johnson, Jalen Green, and rookie Jabari Smith Jr. 
the standout himself who had himself a game. He has been amazing during the playoffs. And we are going to take out division rival Dallas Mavericks and Luka Doncic. The unbelievable Luka Doncic who got completely clamped up this game. I believe he has 30 points, but his shooting splits are so bad. He's 2 for 10 from 3, and I believe he's like 11 for 29 from the field. I was close to a 50-point game once again. They're obviously going to try and score for some reason, even though it's early. Yeah, see? And I just picked up my fifth foul. That's what I swear. They sent me to the bench with 7 seconds left. He has 28 points. He's about to have 30. But yeah, this game is long over. And you know what, Lucas? Since you did that, bro, I am. I want to score. I want to score. Give me the ball. Never mind. Shoot that Tari. Maybe you can score. Add insult to injury, Luca. You want to go and get um, free throws? Fine. We're adding insult to injury. On to the Western Conference Finals for the Houston Rockets. They gave us trouble in that game, too. It didn't matter. We went on to win three straight and beat them in five. Final box score for the Rockets, 46 points, 3 rebounds, 19 assists for Gerald Johnson. 18 for 24 shooting, 1 for 2 from downtown. Javar Smith Jr. had 27, 15, and 6. This dude is absolutely insane. What a monster performance from him. He's averaging 19 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists in the playoffs. He has been absolutely dominant as the second leading scorer. Uh, Sangoon had a good game, 14 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 blocks. Uh, Jalen Green had his 11 points. He usually, he's been doing this. He's averaging 17 in the playoffs. Uh, Tari Eason had 7. He did have 4 before that. And then everyone else had 4. Kevin Porter Jr. shot terrible. But 4 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists off the bench. I'll take it. For the Mavericks, Luka Doncic 39-9 near triple-double. But 11 for 28 and 2 for 10 from the field is not going to cut it. Dinwiddie had himself a series. If you go look at his stats, can I see his past games? Yes, I can. Against the Rockets, 26 points, 15 and 10, 15, 10, and then he just had 15 again, bars. So his only real bad game were these two, game two and games four, where he shot bad. Other than that, he played well. Dorian Finney-Smith had 12, Dwight Powell had 12, Josh Green had 11, and uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. only had two good games in the series. Other than that, he was disappeared. Games four and games two, balled out, dropped 30, and then just disappeared, couldn't be found. He did not do anything. Same thing with Pat Conton. He had like one good game. But we're moving on to face either the Phoenix Suns or the Memphis Grizzlies. Stay tuned. Check out next video to see who we face next. I'm hoping it's not the Grizzlies to be honest because we already dealt with Luka. I don't want to deal with Ja. But that's it for me. GG.